What's up everybody? So, I don't know if you can tell, but I got a new lens for the camera. So hopefully it'll be able to uh, kind of just capture stuff more. Like, uh, while I'm doing the exercise, I'll actually be in frame for the most part. Um, today's going to be chest day, so I'm doing 40 pounds for the incline press, uh, 3 sets of 12, and then I'm going to do 20 pounds like I did last week for the incline flies, but I'm going to just add 3 reps, so I'll do 15 reps per set for 3 sets. But, uh, yeah, haven't done 40 in a bit, but I should be alright to do them, so let's try it. It felt really heavy just getting them off the thing, though, which not good, but just doing three sets of 12. Should be fine. least to 20. I also was sure to actually start my watch for the workout today, so that's good. Instead of just uh, getting mad about stuff, today I started to I decided to do something about it. <laughs> so, new lens. It's like 600 bucks, so uh, pretty expensive, but I mean, I make these videos like every day. I know I don't make money off of them, but it'll just uh, make making videos easier. <sighs> I didn't forget my water. Pretty good so far. I have time before work, so I'm not super rushed. Okay, 15. 15 reps on this set. thought I had enough room to not hit the wall right here, but uh, somehow I'm still bumping it. I think it's because uh, I moved <coughs> the bench to grab something. Uh, 
And I probably didn't put it back in the same spot, so. The other thing, having this wider lens, uh, lets me film inside again. So if it's raining or anything, I won't have to worry. If I do film outside, it should be better for that too. Putting these back on 40 a piece. <sighs> Probably should have took a, a little longer rest before I uh, put these right on my legs like I'm about to start the workout. enough time to rest. I think that was nine, so 10, 11, 12, three more. Couldn't even put my fingers all the way right there, goddamn. Man, always so sweaty. It's been really hot and humid here lately. It's gonna be hot and it's basically summer almost. Actually, no, it, it is summer now, huh? It's already like the 25th today. I watched and say it, but pretty sure. Mm. <coughs> I've been uh, watching some more videos. Uh, just, you know, workout video stuff, tips, whatnot. And, um, Hopefully, <coughs> my, uh, my system of trying to progressively overload uh, will be decent enough, but I, I might be, which I mean, as slow as I'm moving, might be moving too fast. <laughs> <coughs> the video I was watching today was talking about going up one rep a week, but uh, I guess because I started with smaller weight, uh, <laughs> pointing at my whiteboard, y'all can't see. Um, since I started out a smaller weight, I guess I've just been wanting to progress faster. Kind of, I guess, just to get back to where I was before I started uh, documenting in my spreadsheet. So, at some point I probably will be needing to slow down. Maybe whenever I go up to 45 for the incline press, I'm going to lower the reps and then work my way up on the reps before increasing weight again. I haven't done 50 yet, uh, dumbbell incline press, so probably need to work my way up. These 40s already didn't finish the set straight through, so I probably um, really shouldn't be progressing at all. <laughs> I probably should be able to do all my reps uh, before I progress, so that might be something that I need to make note of, is uh, meeting a minimum requirement of uh, rep quality before I progress. 
because if I'm lifting too much and my form's suffering, then I shouldn't be uh, adding more weight because it's only going to get worse, right? So, <sighs> alright, well, that was a, <laughs> a decent rest to pump out these last three of reps of this set. <laughs> forward is the case. sweat a lot but uh that's right I got a little Gatorade uh, like pouches packets for you know I can mix my own little uh, Gatorade water bottle so that should uh, help with electrolytes I didn't make one before I started thought about it but I didn't Yeah, I feel like even on these, my form is uh, not 100%. With, you know, I came inside thinking, hey, at least I'm not outside. Hopefully the camera won't overheat. Luckily I can have more room on the camera to actually film inside. But just because I have more room on the camera, doesn't mean I actually have more room in this room to not fucking hit the walls. I'll obviously record kind of at an angle. So I've only got like a small triangle to uh, record in. <sighs> Probably just need to rearrange this room a little bit. Exercise bike's kind of just been chilling right here for a while and that's kind of where I draw the line on what the camera can capture. But uh, I could move this whiteboard and then move uh, the exercise bike and uh, maybe be able to film more straight on and give me like more of a rectangle to work with that I could uh, get like full wingspan in. And if you ever saw me uh, doing the like uh, oblique twists with uh, that stick that I got and taped, that thing hit the walls really easy too. So. But honestly, that one might just need to go outside. Maybe do that in the sun or something like, like my jump rope videos. Or I guess squats was my most recent one, which uh, was different. <laughs> okay, but uh, one more set of each. Last round. <sighs> Literally dripping so much sweat. I don't know how there's not sweat there unless I just wiped it off. But I'm dripping. Alright. 
back to 40. And hopefully I can do this in one set straight through, but that's assuming that the little bit of talking I did was a decent rest. Otherwise, uh, I probably will have to take a break halfway through or so again. Just uh, 12 reps. Seven. Uh, it's a little over half. Ooh, my forearm. Whew. I probably shouldn't be increasing the weight yet, considering how many breaks I need to take. What I might even need to do, which I, kind of sucks, would be dropping the uh, the incline flies down and just doing more reps uh, with a lower weight for potentially better form. But I mean, I'm able to get through those, just not the best form, I guess. So I should probably stick with the weight. If, if I don't lower it and uh, work on getting more reps. I mean, I, I, I don't know. I guess I could increase the reps a little bit more. It's like 18 or something, but uh, it's only gonna get harder without uh, guaranteeing that my form improves if I, if I keep uh, progressing, I guess, instead of getting used to stuff enough before I move on, but oh, it's tough. But that's, I guess that's why I'm doing the tracking, right? Is to see, to track my progress, but also correct when I need to, I suppose. But all right, let's see if I can uh, finish these. I think I did seven, so five more. Yeah, those don't feel too bad whenever I get a little rest in between. But it is definitely tough doing the full set. God damn, look at that. going to be the last set of this video.
Hopefully I can uh, get through all 15 reps straight, which uh, hasn't been a problem yet, but I don't know. I guess I'm trying to do it with like my arm as straight as possible, but with the wall and everything, I have to bend it a little bit. And I don't know how much that actually changes the exercise, but it's supposed to be a pec exercise. Try to focus on my upper pec. But I feel like there's other exercises I might need to do instead. Like even just putting my arm like this, I can feel that my upper pec actually does flex a little bit. Or like crossing my arm like this. Can, I can kind of feel it, but these, I'm not coming across. I'm, I'm going straight up and down, and uh, I think I need to be able to go past. So what I might need to do, which would be super weird, would be like alternating flies, uh, where I would actually go all the way across to where it's flexing on the inside. But I don't know if I want to just leave the weight on each side while doing them, or if I would just do one side, you know, however many reps, other side, however many reps, you know, uh, but yeah, kind of wish I had like, uh, I could maybe set my resistance bands to do like a over the shoulder or something, kind of press across the body where, but sometimes the resistance bands kind of get caught on me. But I mean, a cable machine's probably not going to be any different, so... <sighs> Alright, let's knock this out, huh? Okay, 15 reps. So maybe you can tell, like especially like in that last rep, where I just cannot keep my arms straight. And it's, uh, that's why I'm wondering if, if I'm using too much weight. But if I use the same weight next time, maybe same reps, maybe it will be easier. And then, you know, as long as I'm getting stronger and whatnot, it should get easier, right? If I'm doing the same thing, which is why you do more to keep getting stronger. So if you do the same thing, probably less likely to get stronger. But if you keep it at the same thing and you get better form, then I think uh, you would benefit more. So I think uh, increasing the weight is important. Increasing the reps is important. But having proper form, regardless of weight or rep count, is probably the most important and something that uh, I probably haven't really accounted for yet. But I'm gonna make a note today in my spreadsheet under my numbers and just put that uh, I, I wasn't finishing the sets and uh, my form might have been suffering because something that I saw today was that uh, like, you know, like reps in reserve, whatever, so and then working or doing, you know, reps till failure. Failure is kind of considered uh, as soon as you lose your proper form. So it doesn't have to be that your muscles fail. If your form fails, then that is failure. 
But if you can have perfect form until your muscles just don't work anymore, then that's also failure. So I need to work on uh, keeping up with the proper form because I know there's a lot of times, like if you see me doing my uh, concentration curls on a bicep day, that I'll, uh, I'll do like assisted ones. And those should probably count as failure. So I would kind of be going past failure whenever I do extra reps assisted, which isn't the worst thing. It kind of, I guess the main concern is affecting recovery. And I seem to recover fine right now. So I'm probably, I can probably keep pushing to failure, uh, with, you know, an emphasis on improving my form and be fine for now. I don't know. But anyways, that's actually it for this one. Just, uh, rambling a little bit at the end. So yeah. Thanks for watching. See you.